Hey, what up, guys? Gosskill115 here, and I uh, I just wanted to first of all say I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I know I said I was going to do three videos every week, regardless of it being late or early, but, uh, you know, I just didn't have enough time. You know, school was really, you know, banging the shit out of me, and uh, the, the last kit that I did took a, took a while, and uh, I, I hope I can, I can do more skits in the future, and I, me and my friends are actually pr planning on doing one. Uh, but we need a little bit more time for that, and obviously we didn't have that. So, uh, yeah, let's hop right in. So, one thing you guys gotta know about me is that when I was a little kid, I used to live in these condo apartments, I guess? I don't know, it was really hard to explain. It was like one of those apartments where, like, on the outside, like, there was apartments on the outside, but there's like a, there's like a gate where you can go inside with your, with your, um, with your car, and and there's like a gate in between like the houses where you can go. It, it was weird. It was just like like outside there was houses, but in the inside there was also houses. You know what I mean? It was like that. And I lived on the outside, and there was always this house. There was this house. There was this neighboring house behind, like right next to ours. And it was always empty since the day I I, I moved there. I first moved there. It was always empty. Like it wasn't for sale or anything like that it wasn't like the people were there just nothing was in there or or anything was in there it's just it's just it was like a creep it's, it was really creepy like i mean me and my friends would always walk, walk by it and then assume that shit was haunted as fuck you know uh we we would we would always walk by it and you know fucking run away like i swear to god one one time we were walking by that shit and and i looked at the window and i swear to god i saw a fucking face you know that house was abandoned too like we we could tell like normally there would be uh a, a, there would be like some furniture inside but like uh, we peeked inside right and there was absolutely nothing it was absolutely bare and 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 what made it even creepier was that if you came from behind like like where the cars are supposed to be parked and you peeked up inside the the top room like you would you would see like the wallpaper of a room and it would it would be like flowers and it it was like a, a setting of a little girl's room and and we would just get creeped the fucking shit out of it and and you know one day one day i was walking around walking around the houses and i i noticed that all the houses in the front are exactly the same like like i like in the back like they have the same kind of uh patio they have the same way to get in from the back uh, same way to get in from the front you know and in the back where you park your cars there's like this gate and the gate wasn't really that protective i guess was because like there was a gate already already for the cars to get in and the only way you could get in was with a was with like a cart uh, one of those garage doors one of those garage door keys to open the gate and so you know i i noticed that and and the the gate was pretty small as it is i was i was i was always a, a fucking short dwarf so so climbing that shit wasn't too hard and i can just easily reach my hand over so so i I I kind of like established that you could do that and only some people had like had their own uh, own little locks that they would put on the door just to be extra safe but I knew that door didn't didn't for sure have anything so I I so uh one one day I I went I went I went to the house with my with a couple of my friends and and we were in the we were in the back and we we went up to the door we went up to the gate door and and I opened it and I was like, okay, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. We were, we were freaking the fuck out when I opened it. It was, it was like getting a fucking quad feed in, in fuck uh, Super Mario Kart, you know. But uh, we walked in, right, and we we saw we saw the the inside. And normally, where where the patio is, the door to the patio, there's a kitchen, but there was there was nothing. There was no, there was like barely anything. There wasn't even like a stove or anything like that. It was it was completely bare. So one thing, another thing that. I, I sort of told myself was that nobody in the whole world locks their fucking patio door. You, you know those doors, those wind, those doors that are made out, made out of glass and like they're sliding doors to the backyard. I, I always thought that people never close them. So, so my, so, so if like someone, someone came to my backyard, we were automatically fucked. We, we were fucked. Like they, they could easily just open the door because we didn't close that shit. We, I, I thought that shit was, was like safe proof i don't know i i think i thought people were too fucking stupid to realize that you can just open the door so i i i assumed that the door wouldn't open right i mean would open 
I assumed that the door would open. So I went up to the door and, and that shit opened. That shit opened quickly. I was like, oh fuck, oh fuck. We in, boys, we in. And and I was the first one to walk in. I was scared as shit. I, I thought I thought we were gonna get raped. Okay, so we walk in and and in in and we walked in. We walked in the kitchen. And it was all good. It was all good. And we walked a little bit further past the kitchen. And then we, we saw like the fireplace and everything, the living room. And we were tempted to go upstairs to check out the, the little girl's room or whatever. But we were so fucking freaked out. And I swear to God, I, I, I shit you not, I heard, a, I heard a fucking crack. As soon as I heard that crack, I was the first one to get the fuck out of there. And my friends were like confused as hell. They, 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 didn't, they didn't know why I ran. They assumed that I saw a ghost or, or a floating penis or something. And I'm just like, oh shit, he's there. And they heard me and they're like, oh fuck. So they ran behind me. We didn't even fucking bother to close the door. So we just fucking ran, booked it. And, 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 and uh, <laughs> I guess one of us, I don't know who it was, but one of us, one of us, uh, one of us fucking, one of us figured out that we never fucking closed the door. And we're like, oh shit, we got to close the door. They're going to know where we're there. And we're like, oh fuck. So, so we spun, spun a fucking bottle, right? And, 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 it, and it fucking landed on me. The fucker who opened the door and was the first one to go in was the fucking... Last one to get in there and, and fucking close that fucking bottle, that fucking racist ass bottle. I was the only Mexican in the group. Fucking racist bitch bottle. So I, so I go back, right? I'm scared as shit. I had to close the door. My friends were like, yeah, well, we'll be behind you. Them, them motherfuckers ran as soon as I started walking. I was, I was alone. And, and I go up to the door. I go, I go to the window thing. I close that shit so hard. I was about to fucking break it. And, and I, I just run back. I just run back. You know, you know how, you know how as a kid, as a kid, you're fucking always scared of the dark. So when you turn the lights off, you just automatically book it. It was like that. So as soon as I closed that glass door, I knew I was going to get raped from like every angle. So I closed that shit as fast as I could. I ran to the gate and I fucking slammed the shit out of that. And I ran to my friends, but they, of, of course they fucking left. So yeah, so that, that, was, that was the time I, I entered and broke indoor. <sighs> Need, needless to say, I, I'm proud of myself, you know. I, not now I can say I broke into a house that was that was filled with rape. Now maybe you sound superior and I look inferior, but by the time we're done, you'll have to accept failure. Your career ends today, the one filled with flaws, or is it non-existent, just like ideal gas laws? I have a career choice and it's stuck like glue. When I saw your career pattern.